and communication is so talking and listening is so important in marriage let's read the scripture matthew chapter 18 verse 19 again i tell you if two of i tell you when i read the scripture i feel god was talking about married people of course he was not specifically talking about married people but this verse has its highest efficiency impact in married people let's read again i tell you that means he told this before again i tell you if two of you on earth agree which means to harmonize together make a symphony a musical angle jesus is bringing musical angle harmony together symphony together about whatever anything and everything they may ask it will come to pass and it will be done for them so i think god was talking about marriage first harmonize when you begin there are times when families come to me for prayer i ask them are you both in agreement on this many times they say no about buying houses buying vehicles having children we we're praying for children the man says pastor we want to enlarge our family we want to have children some difficulties can you pray yes i am going to pray sister you are ready i ask the wife are you ready to be parents sometimes they say no not now and the husband is also shocked i never knew that's true sometimes wives worship they want to buy a house sister you want to buy a house yes pastor where somewhere usually they tell me near the church that's a standard answer okay we'll pray <laughs> then i asked the guy you want to buy a house yes pastor where i was thinking of my native place see <laughs> jesus said until you harmonize the problem is jesus is not a lip reader is a heart reader Now don't go beat up each other to harmonize. That <laughs> that doesn't produce music. It produces distortion. Like rock music. Distortion units. God wants us to have harmony. If prayers are built on harmony, God says, "I will answer you. I will bless you." i will answer you one family was praying for a house and they're not getting they have more money than average people but they're not able to buy a house something or the other problem they came to me pastor we want a house the man told me i found a house pastor somehow it's not happening builder calls me i am not free i call builder he is not free we go to registrar office that day something happened computer didn't work something shut down bondage you have to break it i am now fully anointed i hear the story i'm pumped up i'm ready to pray such a prayer that computer will work there you know i mean that anointing you know what i'm saying now sometimes you feel that anointing and i felt i felt a check in my heart i asked that sister i'm going to pray but i want to ask you you want that house she started crying and i knew we were going somewhere i said what's the problem she said pastor that is tower b in tower a my in laws are there i don't want to go there <laughs> No wonder the computer was not working. <laughs> so when I preach these things these are not just bible truths these are my experiences. Unless you harmonize <clears throat> communication with each other is a combination of listening and speaking. and these are principles you can use with anybody in the world what is really to communicate to listen to them not to reply but to understand and reply if required but just listen to understand and speak to be understood 